Hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm James Curry with the Communication Department. And I'm talking to a whole gaggle of people over here, all four of them. They're <laughs> Health Equity Office. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Doing great. Doing good. Good. Thanks for having us. Yes, would you please introduce yourselves there? Go ahead. Uh, sure. My name is Melissa McKnight. I'm the Program Administrator for the Health Equity Office. My name is Sharita Anderson. I'm the Program Support Specialist for the Health Equity Office. My name is Scandon Ananta Saker. I'm the Outreach Educator for the Health Equity Office. And my name is Sequoia Cheney. I'm also an Outreach Educator. Okay, great. Now that we all know each other, <laughs> we've passed our introductions. Okay, so you, so you all are super duper busy. Uh, this is Public Health Week and you have something going on each day. Let me just kind of run through these themes here. Uh, let's see. Monday is racism, a public health crisis. Tuesday is public health workforce essential to our future. Wednesday is community, collaboration and resilience. Thursday is World Health Day, health is a human right. Friday is accessibility, closing the health equity gap. Saturday is climate change, taking action for equity. And Sunday is mental wellness, redefining the meaning of health. So that is a very busy week. So tell me how that fits with your mission of your department. Yeah, absolutely, I can kick it off. So the overall theme for the entire week of National Public Health Week is public health is where you are. So that ties perfectly aligned with health equity. We know that health is completely defined by where we live, where we work, where we play, where we worship. And oftentimes place defines how healthy you are. So when we learned that National Public Health Week had these themes, we jumped at the opportunity to collaborate with communications department to put on some videos and some um, media pieces to highlight these different initiatives and how they work closely with public health. We're a relatively new program, but we've tried to be, we've tried to be um, present in the community as much as possible, not only to get our name out, but also the importance of health equity and how we can help our community achieve their best health possible. Anybody else want to chime in on the week? <laughs> well, we do a lot of outreach programs and within outreach, we try to reach out to those communities, which we have 15 zip codes that have are listed as those in disparities. And we try to make sure that we target those areas and gather enough data so that way we can um, see what resources we can provide to them. That is, um, that is correct. I know you were busy also not too long ago. Uh, who, who walked through Mardi Gras parades? Who was that? That would be me and Scandon. We um, <laughs> passed out goodie bags and passed out information and resources to about four, four parades, four nights. So we were out in these streets passing out information <laughs> and letting people know what the health department offers. That's right. You're busy in the community, and that's that's exactly where you all uh, propose to be. It's a lot better than being behind a desk. You're actually <laughs> getting information, talking to people uh, that we are directly and indirectly helping by, you know, just the synergy of your program within the health department. Uh, any other plans for Public Health Week or any other kind of specialty things that you all are doing? Yeah, absolutely. April is a really busy month for us. Not only is it National Public Health Week, but it's National Minority Health Month. Mm -hmm. So throughout the entire month, we have outreaches planned throughout the community. I think every single weekend we'll be out there doing something in partnership with other community partners, as well as each Thursday, we're going to be going to the family health clinics to spread the word about health equity, speak to clients while they're waiting in the waiting room, and to truly get that community perspective. Right now, we've been featuring a survey on neighborhood safety, so we really like to learn um, how folks are living in their neighborhood, the issues that they're experiencing, and what we can do to make Mobile a safer place. And then on top of that, we are working towards developing a racism as a public health crisis proclamation, and so we're gathering additional data and perspectives through partners, stakeholders, and our community about the intersection of race and health. And this is where our outreach educators come in handy for their amazing work in the community, connecting with folks out there at all these events with other programs in our BCNS program our directorate, as well as other programs throughout the health department. So we hope to be out there in full force learning and speaking with our community. 
And we're also working internally as well um, to how we can connect our outreach educators with each other. So that way our presence is felt in the community internally and externally. So we're really hoping and looking forward to a lot of great work between teams. Sure. I mean, I think also too, one of the, like the overarching themes is also that, you know, your zip code does not define your health care. You know, it's, you know, that's, that's not your barrier. So I think you all are working to, you know, raise awareness to, you know, get beyond where you live and where your, you know, where your zip code is to be able to have greater access to healthcare and other services. And I think it's, I think it's wonderful that you all are out there in the community doing this. Um, let's see, the, the other day wrapping up this week is um, Sunday, for instance, mental wellness, redefine the meaning of health. I, I know that, um, you know, there's been some talk in the, in the community off and on too about, um, you know, mental health issues on the rise and mental health problems and challenges. So, um, I mean, is that what you all are seeing when you're out speaking in the community that that's one of the major concerns or, or where does it fall in the line of concerns? Well, we had a meeting this morning, I would say, and one of the community advocates there, she pointed out some things that's changing in their community, such as ditches. That was a big concern for them because mosquitoes were so bad. So with speaking with her and knowing exactly what that community was just sit down. So that was really key for us this morning. That's an example of those that we're connecting with. Yeah, um, mental health is one of the biggest um, things we see in the survey data that we get that people saying that mm -hmm. mental health is the most important um, health problem in their community. And it's one of those things that maybe not a lot of people talk about and there's still the stigma around it, but um, you know, so many people are going through those mental um, illness issues. So it's important just to, um, for people to talk about it more and to advocate for, um, you know, change in mental health and how it's perceived. Yeah, and, and, and that's, yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Using that survey data that indicated mental health was the biggest perceived issue in our communities, we're going to be building a mental health panel in the fall mm -hmm. in our communities of need where we can bring together experts as well as resources. So folks said that mental health was an issue. Well, let's let's address it. So that's a that's a forthcoming event that we're planning for the fall. That's good. I mean, it's it's good for people to know that. Um, you know, this is not just one week we're talking about these things. These are, these are challenges. These are situations that you all are addressing every single day that you're working. So, you know, we know that, uh, you know, these are challenges in our community. And I know that you all are working towards uh, being, you know, advocates to be able to, you know, bring about a lot of change. So, you know, we're thankful for the research and the work that you're doing in the community. Uh, anything else about uh, your program that you want to add? I guess the last thing we can share is we are excited to bring forward our health equity training to the spring training this year. So we're, we're keeping it at home, making sure that everyone at our agency understands the difference between equity and equality. And we're really excited about keeping us all um, up to date with the best information. So we all are serving our community with the, the highest level of information. So we're excited about that. And um, other than that, we look forward to seeing folks out in the community. <laughs> well, great. Well, I, I thank you all for your time and I thank you for being on Wellness Wednesday, uh, especially this week. You know, it's National Public Health Week. And we know, again, it's not just one week that we talk about these issues and we sweep them somewhere on our desk and we worry about it next year. It's something that is ongoing. We're uh, addressing it every single day. Every single day, there's always a challenge. So thank you all again for, uh, for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.